Hello and welcome to another video on chemistry. I'm Preetinder Kaur for Perfect Scores and this is going to be the second video. You should watch it after watching the unit and uh, the derived units video. So in this video, it's going to be a short one. We are just going to cover a little bit about what are the common prefixes that are used in measurement. Because measurement is going to be the next important topic that we will do. So the units uh, work in two directions. One is less than the quantity one and the other direction is more than the quantity one. So it's usually referred to in the basis of, as the base of 10. So for example, you have one meter and then there's a different quantity known as 100 meters. So there's another way of representing this which is 10 raised to the power 2. Similarly, if you have a quantity, let's say a thousand meters, which is equal to one kilometer, it is represented by 10 raised to the power 3. So how do you know which word do you have to use in place of kilo when this number is changing? When you have 10 raised to the power 6 or 9 or 12 or 10 raised to the power minus 3, minus 6, minus 12. So this video is going to focus on those kinds of figures. So let's get started with the bigger quantities first. So I'm going to draw kind of a table over here. So we have different quantities. We have, uh, let's start with 10 raised to the power 1. That means 10 times something. And then the next quantity is 10 raised to the power 2. The next quantity is 10 raised to the power of 3. 10 raised to the power 6. 10 raised to the power 9. 10 raised to the power of 12. 10 raised to the power 15. 10 raised to the power 18. 10 raised to the power 21 and 10 raised to the power 24, which is a lot of zeros, 24 zeros to be exact. So if you have a quantity that has 10 of something, the prefix that is used is deca. If you have a quantity that has 10 raised to the power 2 of the units, for example, 100 meters, that will be also known as 1 hectometer. So hecto is the quantity, the name that we use for 10 raised to the power 2. For 10 raised to the power 3, the prefix that you have to use is kilo. Similarly, for the next one, it is going to be mega. For this one, it's going to be giga. The next is going to be tera. Now till here are some of the common ones that we use in our real life. For example, megabytes of space, gigabytes, and it goes up to terabyte. Beyond that, it's very, very unusual, but you should still know. So 10 raised to the power 15 is prefix peta. After that, it is exa. 10 raised to the power 21 is zeta. And this quantity is extremely, uh, let's say, rare because it's too much and usually we have some other kinds of names. But if something is written as 10 raised to the power 24, that is called a yota and then whatever unit comes after that. So that's Y-O-T-T-A. So those are quantities that are big. Let's move to the quantities that are small. That means 10 raised to the power minus 1. 10 raised to the power minus 2, 10 raised to minus 3, 10 raised to minus 6, 10 raised to minus 9, similarly minus 12. And in case this is an important source, these videos are an important source for your preparation, you must take down the notes side by side so that you can revise them. Or if you want, you can keep watching the videos again and again. So let's see what happens on the other side of the axis. So 10 raised to power minus 1 is known as deci. 10 raised to the power minus 2 is known as centi. 10 raised to the power minus 3 will be known as milli with double L. I. 10 raised to the power minus 6 
is micro and then we go on to nano then we have pico this one is femto and then we have ato zepto and finally yok to so again as i said uh, these last few ones will not be used a lot these ones are the more common ones that you should definitely be aware of and we will be solving a few questions at the end of few videos and so that will be a good time to revise these uh, values and prefixes but for now this is all in this video just remember uh, the first few ones are really important the first six ones in the upper row and the lower row so that's all for this video this is our website address our email address and the facebook page thank you so much for watching this video